Okay, this video is an example of using Hess's law. Now, when we use Hess's law, we can manipulate equations with known delta H to determine the enthalpy change for other reactions, particularly reactions whose enthalpy we do not know. A couple things to remember when you're using Hess's law is when you reverse or flip an equation, you must change the sign of delta H. And if you multiply or divide the coefficients, you must also multiply or divide the delta H value. Now our first equation is to determine the delta H for H2O gas plus carbon solid, which will yield carbon monoxide gas and hydrogen gas. We're going to use the two equations given. The first equation is the carbon solid plus half a mole of oxygen gas, which will yield carbon monoxide gas, and the delta H for that reaction is negative 110.5 kilojoules. Our second equation is hydrogen gas plus half a mole of oxygen gas and it will yield H2O gas and the delta H for that reaction is negative 241.8 kilojoules. Okay. So taking the two given equations, what I would recommend is that you start with your target equation and look at the first reactant in your target equation. Here we have an H2O gas. If you look at the two given equations, the H2O gas is a reactant on the second equation. Okay, But we want it on a pr as a product. So what we're going to do is we'll take that second equation and we'll flip it. We'll reverse it. And when we reverse that equation, we also have to change the sign on our delta H. So here's the equation reversed. So the H2O gas is now a product and the hydrogen gas and oxygen gas are now reactants. Also notice that the sign on the delta H has changed from a negative to a positive. Okay, now we'll look at our second reactant in our target equation. It's a carbon solid. We notice right away that the carbon solid occurs on the product side of the first equation. So we don't have to do anything with that equation except write it down. And since we're not doing anything with it, we don't change the delta H at all. Okay, now at this stage what we're going to do is we're going to add these two equations up. This is also why Hess's law is known as the law of additivity. So I'll just draw a line underneath them. Now before I start adding products up and reactants up, I'm going to look for species that are identical on either side of either reaction. Now what I notice in the first equation is that I have half a mole of oxygen gas on the product side and in the second equation I have half a mole of oxygen gas but it's on the reactant side. So if you get a species on the product side and a species on the reactant side and they're in the same uh, state, you can cancel them out. And that's what we do here. We cancel the two species that are identical out. Okay, now we can add up our products and we can add up our reactants. So our products are now H2O gas and carbon solid and our reactants are carbon monoxide and hydrogen gas. Now if you would have written the hydrogen gas first, it's that's fine, it's not wrong. Now we also have to add up our delta H's, so a positive 241.8 kilojoules minus 110.5 kilojoules is going to give us a positive 131.3 kilojoules. Now since our delta H is positive, we know that this reaction is endothermic. 